German politics now in a new opinion poll that shows the far-right AFD party further building on its recent surge in support. When people were asked how they would vote if a national election were held this week, the center-right CDU-CSU comes out as the most popular party with 27% of support. The AFD is up to 21, that is one percentage point more than a month ago. The three government parties, the SPD, the Social Democrats, the Greens and the Free Democrats, are all polling under 20%. Now, the AFD has also been clocking up successes at the ballot box on the local level, recently securing its first ever mayor in a small town in eastern Germany. And that's left the other parties debating how they should deal with the AFD. The far-right AFD is looking to gain more power. So far, Germany's established parties have refused any cooperation with them, the party is deemed extremist and anti-democratic. But as the AFD takes up more space in German politics, some are calling for a shift, especially at the local level. The leader of the conservative CDU party, Friedrich Merz, caused a stir when he said we have to look for ways to ensure that we can continue to work together. Merz later backtracked, but across Germany's towns and districts, many are echoing his words. In Bagnan, a small town in southwest Germany, the local AFD claims it is already working with other parties. We are working together at all levels for the benefit of the population and of course we can intensify this even more. We are not at all opposed to this. We would be pleased if this also happened on state and national level instead of just doing party politics. Other parties like the center-left Social Democrats reject the notion that they are cooperating with the AFD but they call for a pragmatic approach. We have to think and act pragmatically on the ground here in the local communities and not just here in Backnang, but everywhere. We have not cooperated with the AFD so far. We exclude the AFD from our decisions, but we do not torpedo our own motions and positions. The town of Hagenau is located across the country in former East Germany. Despite the distance, both geographical and political, the message here is similar. There is no direct cooperation, but the AFD can't be ignored either. Active cooperation means, for example, supporting their motions in the city council. We don't do that. There will always be resolutions that we put forward which the AFD representative also supports, but that does not mean we will automatically withdraw that motion. It's about budget decisions, audit reports and other decisions that are important for the town. For others like the Socialist Left Party, any kind of understanding with the AFD is unacceptable and risks further legitimizing the far-right party. I see this completely differently. I believe that cooperation with an extreme right-wing party, which is racist at its core and which in its entire political orientation wants something that is not good for the majority of its own citizens, cooperation with such a party must never take place. It is unacceptable. For now, the AFD rarely has enough power to tip the scales in local politics. But if it continues its rise and gains yet more support, Germany's established parties will have to think long and hard whether they want to work or not work with the AFD. Let's talk about that question with our political correspondent Simon Young. Simon, good to see you. Now, when it comes to cooperating with the AFD, we've seen mixed messages from the Christian Democrats. Is the firewall separating them from the far right crumbling? Well, there's a perception that it might be. Uh, the, the CDU, Christian Democrats, passed a resolution back in 2018 that they would not enter into any uh, coalitions or other uh, arrangements of that kind with the far-right AFD party, and that still stands. But what we've seen recently is the, the CDU leader, Friedrich Merz, we saw him in the piece there, uh, appearing to look for some wiggle room to try and uh, fish for some of that support, perhaps. For, for instance, uh, he suggested some time ago that his party is the alternative for Germany. 
with substance uh, and other kinds of comments like that. So on the question of active cooperation, he's been forced to say, no, there'll be none of that. Uh, but uh, this debate has certainly sort of muddied uh, the waters a little bit and created some uncertainty that that firewall uh, that uh, the CDU promised between itself and the AFD will stand. What about the other parties? We heard it a bit in the report, but how united are they in their approach to the far right? Well, I think you, you see different approaches, uh, as we saw in the piece, uh, and, uh, you know, a real problem, actually, for some local politicians. If they bring uh, proposals into local government uh, and the AFD supports them, uh, why should they then sort of, you know, drop them? And equally, if the AFD happens to propose something, is it, you know, is in a position to pro make proposals that are sensible, uh, you know, is it right to necessarily block them? And maybe one should take a pragmatic line. Others say, no, this party is at its core racist, extremist. These are the enemies of democracy. And if you uh, give them any kind of oxygen, that will only boost them going towards elections. There are big uh, elections in the regions uh, coming up next year in the east, where the AFD is particularly strong. We've got a national election. Of course, European elections also in 2024, uh, uh, and the AFD are competing, uh, are looking to compete strongly in all of those places. Yeah. In Spain, just recently, cooperation with the far right turned into a central election issue that in the end proved to be decisive. Are we going to see similar developments in Germany regarding the AFD, you think? Well, I think it's a problem for all parties to know exactly what to do. I think the, the problem is most acute for the Christian Democrats, uh, the centre-right party. Uh, they don't want to leave uh, policy decisions and policy positions to the AFD. For instance, on immigration, they want to be the party of pragmatism and say, yes, we uh, support uh, the migrants who can bring something to the German economy, but not mass unskilled migration. Uh, that's something the AFD have opposed. The, the CDU have got to work out how they win back some of that support, win back some of those positions without appearing uh, to, you know, support extremists and give oxygen to that party uh, way out on the far right of German politics. Looks like we're in for a bit of soul-searching within the CDU-CSU. DW political correspondent Simon Young, thank you so much.